This week's episode of Crappie USA is brought to you by The Best Tank. Check us out at thebesttank.com. Lake Cumberland is one of the largest man-made lakes in the United States, spanning over 65,000 acres with 1,255 miles of shoreline and over a mile across at its widest point. Created in 1952 with the construction of Wolf Creek Dam, this beautiful lake is popular among boaters and weekend vacationers. Over 1,500 houseboats occupy the docks along the shores of Lake Cumberland, and powerboats are an uncommon sight among the fishing craft. Besides being a powerhouse for tourism in Southern Kentucky, Lake Cumberland also boasts several state records for largest fish. Anglers from across the country will go head to head for a cash prize of over $12,000, as well as qualification for the Green River Lake Kentucky Crappie USA Classic taking place next month. Welcome to Somerset, Kentucky for the 2020 Crappie USA Super Event on Lake Cumberland. Lake Cumberland poses an interesting challenge to the anglers this weekend. In the fall, cold weather causes the crappie to seek warmer water near the bottom of the lake. The difference in water pressure and temperature between the lake and the angler's live wells can cause the crappie to suffer from decompression sickness, which can be fatal. This means competitors have to strategize to keep their catch alive. Fish caught early in the morning may not last until weigh-in. Fizzing the fish with a needle is the most accepted way to successfully keep the fish alive and well. If that isn't enough, high water clarity this weekend makes the crappie more likely to spook at the sight of an approaching watercraft. Anglers must stalk along the edges of schools of crappie in hope to catch them unaware. Some anglers prefer to try their luck single poling between stretches of submerged trees along the shoreline. Time will tell how much the weather affects this year's competition. Philip Kidwell from Nicholsville, Kentucky. We had one fish, tough day, a lot of wind, pushing us around, caught him on jigs, spider rigging, crappie hut USA, some new jigs that they've made for us, custom made, worked or what real well, Ozark rod, same way. Hoping this wind will lay down. Uh, we noticed a lot of fish moving up yesterday, shallower, schooling up more. This is transition period in this lake. Makes a tough fishing, boys, but when you got the wind, cold weather come through, cold front, usually kind of shuts the crappie down, but we're hoping for a better day today. What's different about the water conditions at this lake? Uh, not really anything. I mean, it's all about the same this time of the year. It's just the transition period here seems to hit right in September. Spring, any time but the month of September. <laughs> it's the toughest month for us, has been. I've fished this lake for the last 25 years or better. We got a new color jig that we didn't get to try yesterday that we're gonna try today, see if that'll help us out. Uh, it's something we come up with and had it made for us, so we're gonna see if it'll work or not. It's a <laughs> kind of a grayish black color with a little chartreuse in it. We fished right out kind of here in Fishing Creek. We kind of covered the whole creek. We went shallow all the way out to deep water. We was in some 40 foot water. Our fish come out of anywhere from eight foot to 14 foot deep, what we had, did have. Short fish and the one keeper fish we had. Lake's a little tough. You know, they're pulling. We've noticed in the last three days, they probably pulled it three foot. It makes it tough. We know that transition area. Going from summer pool to winter pool, fish is going to be scattered. This cold weather ain't helping none because y'all can tell we're bundled up. But it's about what we thought we'd have. Yeah. Going the way we figured it would, it's going to be tough. Scattered fish just hunting. Have you been trying pretty much the same rig all day? 
Yeah, the whole day we're fixing to change over and maybe use crankbaits here to see what we can come up with. We're in about 12 foot, 11, 12 foot of water. We're fishing about a foot off the bottom up to four or five foot off the bottom. Getting any bites? Running Getting any double bites jigged. Double jigged? Yeah, double jigged rigs. Uh, it's about like we thought this morning when we talked it was going to be. Our youth in the back back here, we can't keep him awake, you know, he keeps going to sleep. <laughs> oh, I stay awake. There's plenty of pies to eat. I'll stay awake. We were in 26th place yesterday, uh, which is not real terrible. They were some blank, so we were just blessed we got one to weigh in. You got any guesses on today where you're going to rank? I'm hoping we don't drop <laughs> with what we got. I'm hoping everybody else is having about the same luck they did yesterday. Other than that, no, we could end up dead last. Who knows? It's a, it's anybody's ball game today, guys. Except for the fish today, how we come out. Yeah. Like we always say, we're fishing against the fish, not the fishermen. Whatever brand of fishing electronics you're looking for, we carry them all. If you're also looking to buy from experts, you found the right place. And if you need financing, we got it. If you need nationwide free shipping, well, we have that too. But the biggest reason to buy with the Bass Tank? No one, and I mean no one, beats our service and expertise before, during, and after the sale. Buy with the Bass Tank today at thebasstank.com. Stephen and Keegan Skaggs, Columbia, Kentucky. Uh, we're mostly floater fishing right now. That's what we weighed one fish yesterday, and that's how we got it. So thought we go with that. Yep. Yeah, yeah. We'll probably uh, we long line mostly, but we didn't do any good yesterday, so we swapped up for this. Ended up catching quite a few short fish, but nothing, nothing any length. Uh, is this a new spot that you're fishing today? Yeah, it's. This, yesterday was the first day we'd ever fish fishing creek, so it's tough. That's all I can say. <laughs> uh, of course, we're not, we don't have nowhere near as much wind as we had yesterday. It's great. So maybe we can maybe we can luck up on some here in a little bit. What did you guys do yesterday? One fish. How big? Uh, six tenths, I think. Just right at Mister. That's all it was. We had several nine, nine and a half inch fish. All right, you guys. Thank, Thank you for your time. Good luck. Day two at Lake Cumberland has seen improved weather conditions. The crappie are moving into the shallows as the water warms. How many did you guys catch yesterday? Three. Three? Uh, you guys were right on par? Right on par so far. They pulled more over the river. <laughs> we didn't catch them yesterday late. What kind of rigging did you use yesterday to catch them? We spotted a rig there yesterday morning. We just we couldn't catch enough of small fish. And heck, we come in at 11 o'clock and went up to the boat and switched back to the crankbait and pulled out here and caught three fish out of the Were you guys fishing in the relatively same area or is this a yeah, new area? Right in here. Right here. You guys using any specific uh, color? We put a little bit of everything on today. We lose them more. <laughs> black, black, anything with black thing pretty good. Black and bandit mistake. Well, if we can get seven fish, we just we can pick up a good one or two. We didn't think we had much yesterday, but heck, after way in there, we, we still had a chance to come back. In six places. So if we can catch seven fish. Are they hanging out as deep as they were yesterday, like 25 feet or lower? Or? We're catching our feet on up. Real challenge. So you have not not having any trouble keeping them alive, or is that? No, we ain't have no problem. Nah. We're having 
have to kill these baits and let them float up the top to make them bite. Yeah, a little honey hose kind of right down to you. Where get all the baits back out. Stalter from Salt Lake, Kentucky. And Gary Emery from Cincinnati, Ohio. How many fish you guys catch yesterday? Not about 10 fish, but no big ones. We yeah. have one keeper today. Oh, yeah. Lots of little ones, but just one keeper so far. We're spider rigging right now. We were single pole earlier. We had uh, BM poles with uh, Gamma Line. The uh, fry baby jig. How do you think the weather today has affected the fishing? The wind was calm this morning and we caught fish. When the wind picked up, it seems like it shut down. We will try whatever it takes. Yes, I think you will try several different tactics today. <laughs> Any in particular? Uh, we might end up pulling some crankbaits later on for something different. All right, guys. Good luck, fellas. That's it. All right. All right thank you. Good luck. Thanks. Have a good one. Whatever your fishing electronic, trolling motor, or shallow water anchor needs are, we carry them all. Garmin, Hummingbird, Dakota, Lawrence, Raptor, Power Pole. If you need mounts and accessories, well, we've got that too. And hey, if you need financing, we offer you two choices with a firm and catapult. We ship nationwide, and most orders in by 12 noon central, Monday through Friday, are shipped out the same day. Plus, free shipping on all orders over $500. The biggest reason to buy with the Bass Tank? No one, and I mean no one, beats our service and expertise before, during, and after the sale. We may sell fishing electronics, but make no mistake about it, we're in the customer service business. Ask around, and you'll know it's true. Buy with the Bass Tank today at thebasstank.com. We're sitting right on a big pile of them. You know, if we catch 50 six inches and we happen to catch you know if we can catch three if we can catch four more that'll go ten inches we'll be tickled you got fish all over oh steady you got him yes i got him wait wait flip him in here that's a little better than the last one. Oh huh yeah there you Right here, you're looking at, uh, this is Cumberland Lake, and you see our tracks, that's where we've been fishing. So right now you can see our boat, we're easing up on where these fish are gonna be. And then I can switch over. Yeah, you see there's nothing in, in there now, you can see the bottom. And we're coming up on uh, a few smaller fish. But you can see the, the school there. Oh yeah. Is gonna be coming up. Have you guys just been doing single pull? Yeah, we just uh, just single pull. We did that all day yesterday, and we caught a bunch of these fish, but we did not catch one that we could keep till, I don't know what, about... A frog something. Yeah. We caught him, and then we caught, she actually caught him uh, on a double minnow rig, and then I caught one jig in it. How long have you guys been crappie fishing? Uh, we just started this year, really. No way. I started, uh, I started fishing with a buddy of mine back in 2000 and, oh, I missed you, buddy. Back in 2016 or 2017. Hold on, let me see if I can pull you on up here. We start, I did, and I was just fishing off a buddy's boat. And then, uh, there we go. And there he is, just little joker. 
And then, of course, what she normally does is I'll catch it, I'll hand it to her, and then she'll, uh, she goes back and waves and she ain't scared of no fish. Nope. That's her favorite part to actually play with them. A lot of times, when the day gets longer, she'll, uh, she'll end up playing with the fish and playing with the minnows. We, so, we had some good fish and three of them in the back started to float. Oh no. Yeah, so I, so we drove around and I was sitting in this seat, just etched over it, just trying to keep those fish alive. The first spot we pulled up to, there wasn't any fish. I mean, they just, they were there two weeks before, but they weren't there then. So I was pretty discouraged, but we, uh, we just kept at it. And our second spot we went to, we ended up uh, really falling into them. They were kind of holding the same pattern that they are here. Because there, just like here, you've got a lot of this uh, vertical structure. And there is some fish on it, but there he is. But anyway, so you're trying to find something different. And if you can find any horizontal structure, like the lay down, then, you know, that's where we've been targeting most of our fish, even if they're little. I don't know if you can see, she's got fish all over it. They just will not commit to it. About some... She got, got she got a fish. She got a fish. Oh, did it come off? Yeah. Nope. nope. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Smallest crappie in the world. <laughs> Here, swing your table. Here you go. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Yes, there's another school of fish that are right back there in those sticks, uh -huh. and we can't vertical jig them. So what we'll have to do with those, that's how we caught our first one, is I'll have to get the boat situated and pitch in on them and then drag it back. But we kind of given them some time to cool off because we, we pulled out our three out of there. One of them was one that's in the, in the live well. Wow. Whatever brand of fishing electronics you're looking for, we carry them all. If you're also looking to buy from experts, you found the right place. But if you need financing, we got it. If you need nationwide free shipping, well, we have that too. But the biggest reason to buy with a bass tank no one, and I mean no one, beats our service and expertise before, during, and after the sale. Buy with the Bass Tank today at thebasstank.com. Hang in around with us. Uh, shouldn't be long now. We'll have boats uh, getting on the trailer and fish coming through the line. Oh, it went really well. Uh, we went to that spot that we told you all about. So we ended up picking two more off of that spot uh, that ended up, she netted them all. And then, well, we hadn't drove from where y'all saw us all day. So I was like, we got to charge the batteries to the boat. So. We drove down to the bridge and made a big circle and on the way back I said, well, let's swing in here and check this spot out. Uh, I knew there was a tree down and we picked two little ones off of it that we couldn't, you know, we couldn't weigh and a pretty good sized largemouth and it flipped off and then we come out to another spot we'd seen yesterday and I was like, well, let's look at it and on the first drop, I think, uh, I set the hook and we thought it was a drum and it come up. And when I seen it was a crappie, I was like, get the net, and it started jumping. And crappie aren't supposed to jump, but this one did. And she netted it, and I was like, what, well, do you want to try for a seventh? And she's like, I'm afraid it'll die. So we just come in and wait, so we had a big time. It, it was slow. We picked up one more fish after we talked to y'all. Uh, we had to switch over to crankbait to get that. Our jig bite was up. Of course, we were spider rigging. We just couldn't get them, we could mark fish, we couldn't get them to bite. We know this was gonna be tough, they were scattered everywhere. So we opted to cover more water with crankbaits at a faster pace. We was pleased, yeah, we ended up with 283 for the weekend. With the conditions and everything, I thought we'd done very well. We all three pretty well pleased with what we did do. We didn't blink. That's always a plus, you know. And the next team headed this way be the father-son team, Chris and Harry Manning. Had 4.57 yesterday. What'd Dad do, hold you back? Oh man, 2.51 today. <laughs> Third place on the pro side.
with 7.08 pounds, the father and son team of Terry and Chris Mann. All right, I'm Chris, and this is my dad, Terry Mann, and we just finished third in the uh, Crop USA Super Event on Lake Cumberland. Uh, total weight was seven. Not near enough. Not in the low sevens. Yeah, in the low sevens. <laughs> Um, we use crappie magnet baits uh, tipped with slab bites and fished a variety of depths anywhere from 6 feet to about 25 feet. So we uh, moved around a lot to different creeks. We fished a, uh, we fished a spring tournament over here one, maybe about three years ago. In two days we weighed in over 24, 24 pounds. So you can see the difference, you know, this, this uh, late summer bite is tough over here. Second place on the pro side and previous national champions, the team of Garland, Turpin, and I'm pretty sure they've got a third partner there, and Kenner. You one of those, try to get it out of there. And another one here. And we've got a check for you. Did you catch all the fish again? Yep. <laughs> what I thought, okay, I need to be talking to you. What part of the lake were y'all fishing? Fallbush and White Oak. Okay, and uh, what technique worked the best, Nolan? Crappie magnet jigs. Crappie magnets, and uh, were you tipping them with slab bites or anything? Yes. 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 All right. How deep of water worked the best? 25 feet. They were deep, weren't they? Have you any trouble keeping them alive? Mm, one fish. Uh, that's probably the biggest one. Yep. You ever hear of a small fish dying? <laughs> nope. No, I didn't either. It's always a big one, right? Yep. That's what I thought. Y'all give them a hand one more time. Great job, Ben. All right, your second place pro team from yesterday is up next. It's the team of Patterson Patterson. They had 342 yesterday on the pro side. Caught them pretty early, and then it just kind of dwindled off as the day went on. Uh, we used minnows mostly. Uh, Mr. Crappie Sausage Head, uh, Chartreuse. Done better today. 637 today. 979 total, guys. That brought you up there with a big lead. Well, we're in second right now with 937. But, uh, I think day one leader hasn't weighed yet. Winning your event this weekend on the pro side with 9.79 pound team of Patterson and Patterson, father and son team, Kenny and Arnold. Come on up, guys. Now we got to come clean. What part of the lake were you fishing? Wolf. Wolf Creek? Yes. Yeah. Started out in six early, then worked our way out about 12. And what technique? Mainly minnows. Uh, used a Mr. Crappie sausage head with a two-inch curly tail tipped with a minnow. So. Okay. Minnow is the main one there. You gotta have a little meat on there. Y'all yep. give them a hand. Patterson, Patterson. We appreciate all of you turning out. We have uh, six states represented here this weekend, 54 total teams. We appreciate all of you at home for watching the Crappie USA event here at Lake Cumberland, Kentucky. We'll be with you again next week, Dale Hollow Lake, Tennessee, at Solana, Tennessee. I hope to see all of you there and have a safe trip home. You've been watching Crappie USA at Lake Cumberland, Kentucky. We'll be back on the water next week with another episode of Crappie USA. Like and subscribe to our YouTube to see more episodes and stay updated on Crappie USA TV. This week's episode of Crappie USA is brought to you by The Bass Tank. Check us out at thebasstank.com.